እግዚአብሔር ለአድናን ፈልጎ ምረትን ሲያበዛ ምክንያት ሲፈጥርልን ለነፍሳችን በዛ ገና ከማህፀን ወዶ የመረጠው ለክብር የታጨ ባርኮ የቀደሰው አባታችን ተክለአብ ተክለወልድ ተክለ መንፈስ ቅዱስ ሃጢያትን አክስሮ በይቅርታሚክስ ለኛ የተፈጠረ የወንጌል ገበሬ ተድበስብሶ እንዳይቀር በስሉ ከጥሪ በሃይማኖት መንሹ አጥጥሮ ይለየ እምነቱ የጸና በተጋግሎ ይቆየ ዛሬም ዛሬም ቃል ኪዳኑ ተርፎ ዓለምን አጥግቧል ተክላይ ማኖስ ብለን የጎደለው ይሞላል በጻድቁ አባት ጥላ ሁሉ ማልፏል ቃሉ ለማይሻር አምላክ ምን ይሳናል ቃሉ ለማይሻር አምላክ ምን ይሳናል ወሰባት ለእግዚአብሔር ወለው are not really the hallmarks of somebody who's collected the Nobel Peace Prize. It's been barely six months since Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed collected his Nobel Peace Prize.
but now his credentials as a peacemaker and as a reformer, both political as well as economic, are being questioned by his own people. In the past week, there's been an upsurge of political violence across Ethiopia, including in the capital of Addis Ababa. More than 160 people have died. This stems from the assassination of a very popular singer and political activist of the Oromo people, the largest ethnic group in Ethiopia. We don't yet know who assassinated him and why, but the Prime Minister's response to the protests was to bring in the military and order a crackdown. Political opponents have been arrested. The internet has been shut down. And these are not really the hallmarks of somebody who's collected the Nobel Peace Prize. There's also been criticism from human rights groups like Amnesty International, which have pointed to a pattern of extrajudicial killings in Ethiopia. This is much more in keeping with the old Ethiopia of the repressive government that preceded. Uh, and it runs against Abiy's own message of political tolerance, of openness, of freedom of expression. This is also coming at a particularly difficult moment for Abi Ahmed because Ethiopia is facing its first great challenge to the economic success of the past couple of years. Ethiopia is already suffering the economic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic. There have been locust swarms, giant locust swarms across all of East Africa, including in Ethiopia, which have been devastating to agriculture. Add to all of these a big foreign policy crisis. Ethiopia is now in a war of words with Egypt over a giant dam project on the Blue Nile. Ethiopia says it needs this dam to provide its people with electricity as well as have some surplus electricity to sell to its neighboring countries. Egypt is worried that the damming of the river and the filling of the dam will reduce the water flow going into Egyptian agriculture. There have been years of efforts to resolve these differences. Right now, the matter has gone up to the United Nations Security Council. There are voices in Egypt that are calling for conflict with Ethiopia if Ethiopia does not relent. So for Prime Minister Abiy, these challenges, political, economic, as well as foreign policy, are a real test of his commitment to democratic values and to his own reforms.